Good morning, folks. We have a lot of things to cover today. Seismicity, storms, landslide risks, star bubbles, solar forcing of El Nino, and of human health. The sun has kicked it into a bit higher gear the last 36 hours, so we'll start with the last 24 hours on our star. In the wake of the X-Class flare we covered yesterday morning, the eruptive activity continued with several long-duration flares and a few CME events from the active regions on the south, one turning out of view to the right and one incoming from the left. While they were erupting, the solar wind amplified at Earth. It was a solid plasma pressure increase as a moderately dense stream took a slight speed surge. This, combined with the southward pointing magnetic field, drove level 3 strong geomagnetic storms. That had a very short-lived but widespread electrodynamic interaction at ground level with our technology. In fact, a ton of systems began glitching all at the same time, from popular software to major networks to gaming systems and payment systems. What's interesting is that once again, the disturbance level of the solar storm does not match expectations. The vulnerability of Earth continues increasing in this magnetic pole shift. The storm was more impactful than it should have been. And we should expect more in the coming days. While the big southern sunspots depart to the right on the south, they are being replaced by a highly complex and compact active region on the south and coming from the left. We have actually been above the M-class flare baseline for most of the last 18 hours. You can see here where the flares are originating, including the heavy activity from the departing group this morning. We are all eyes open for more solar flares. Two seismic notes. Interesting swarm near Saudi Arabia yesterday. Does appear to be calming a bit here this morning. And Malibu, close to Los Angeles, took a 4.7. Widely felt around that area. A quick shift to land motion of another variety. A new landslide risk map has been created by the USGS. No real surprises here. Link to the map is below. Up next, let's take a quick look inside Hurricane Francine as it was making landfall in Louisiana. The ability of our satellites to dissect and peer inside these storms always amazes me. Unfortunately, it looks like tropical development is still strong. Right now, a system in the East Pacific near Baja is churning with some solid strength. This one is expected to head directly north and begin impacting the peninsula and Mexican mainland as well. Up first in the science articles, we're going out to a red giant star with a diameter 350 times the size of the sun, and on that star, the astronomers used James Webb to notice plasma bubbles, huge ones. These mesoscale plasma bubbles are 75 times the size of the sun, and they rise and fall quite quickly, faster than model expectations. No study of another star has ever gone this deep in detail. Excellent study up next. It's in Russian, but can easily be translated with internet software. High-level review of solar storms and human health. All organs and body systems are affected with the heart and psychology impacted most of all. It's a good confirmation of hundreds of papers that came before it. Lastly, on the science front, excellent analysis showing how both solar cycles and lunar cycles impact El Nino. We've seen tons of studies suggesting this in the past. Here, the level of influence reaching 91% was elucidated for the first time. Don't forget, two huge events coming up at Observer Ranch. First, in seven days, the Founders Weekend events begin. Event tickets at the link below or go to ObserverRanch.com to book a stay at the campground. Also, October 19th, my 40th birthday party. So we've got Founders Weekend in a week and my birthday event in about five weeks. Both event pages are listed below. Don't forget I'm out at the ranch every week. Next time will be this Sunday. We'd love to see you out there observerranch.com and event links below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.